right everyone welcome back to five star guns and gear and we're finishing up this uh lower ar build so this is the last step in this series and what we're going to do today is we are going to go ahead and torque this castle nut to spec we're going to install the uh, stock and we still need to get the buffer and spring installed so we got everything else installed everything's ready to go guys we have to go ahead and torque this to 40 foot pounds needs to be between 38 and 42 so let's split the difference say 40 we'll be good there gonna need you to use a armor's wrench use whatever you want i'm just going to use this wheelers avid makes a good product i've got a couple different ones in the shop here and this is the one I've just happened to have on hand and I didn't even notice until just now. It actually gives your specs, recommended specs right here. So that'll help you out. So if you got the Delta Series Wheeler AR combo tool, it tells you right on there what you need. You're also going to need a torque wrench that is in foot pounds because they do come in inch pounds and foot pounds. Set it to 40. Guys, make sure you understand how to read these. Uh, this actually jogs over and goes down to a flat bar. So you want to line that up. So we got it on the 40 line at zero. So we're good to go on this. You use a half inch. If you don't have a half inch, you can do like I did with this one. This is actually a three eighths with a half inch adapter in it. So that'll work fine as well. So let's go ahead and get this on. And this is where the bench block and everything comes in handy. I'm going to just pan over just a little bit to show you. That's how that sets up in the vise. If we would have done this entire build with that in place, it would have been a lot easier, guys. But for filming purposes, we did it on the desk, on the workbench. And uh, for filming, it worked out better how we did it. So hopefully we'll get this. All you need to do is go ahead and insert this in your armor's tool. I hold right about here. And then I start to apply pressure. All right, when you hear it click, guys, that's hit 40. Go ahead and readjust it back to this. Make sure that handle is not hitting. So just kind of pay attention to that. So we're at 40. The only thing you need to do other than that is you should go ahead and stake this end cap right here. We're not going to do it today. We'll do this in a different video. And the way you would do that is you'd actually find one of these notches. You take your center punch, go about 25% of the width in usually. And if you'll peen that center punch, it'll displace enough metal to put right in there. That way this barrel nut will not back out on you. Some people recommend using Loctite on that. Do not use Loctite on that, guys. Uh, it's, just, it's just not made for it. Uh, that's the improper way to doing it. You, If you're going to do it you need to go ahead and probably go ahead and just paint it just swage that metal down where it goes in here and we'll do a separate video on that and i'll show you all exactly how it's done real easy real simple so really we're really close to being done the next part we need to install the stock and what i'll do on this particular stock i'll just pull this down 
as I get it started. And there we go. Make sure there's no issues. It's not slipping off the end. Sorry guys about the camera. It's attached to the same bitch this gun's attached on. Guys, I usually use a bigger vise, but here on this workbench, I got a small one, so it's not really steady. So uh, if you use a bigger vise, if you got one, and have it on a solid surface where it doesn't move, it, it certainly will help out. So the only thing we got left is we got the buffer and the buffer spring. And that is as easy as going ahead and sliding it in. I like to use something flat, I'll use this little piece of plastic. And I'll push down that detent. And there we go. And that's going to end the series here. I'll show you what we got. This is our finished product. Everything's proper. Everything works proper. Triggers installed. I did not show the polishing or anything, but it actually feels really, really good, guys. And guys, make sure that if you uh, test this trigger and stuff, don't let your hammer hit inside here. You're just going to damage stuff. Um, that is the worst thing you can do. Just make sure you either have the proper block to go in here if you're going to dry fire this, or you have this gun assembled. Uh, do not do, do where you actually are testing it and not have something to stop that hammer. With my finger there, you know, it's okay. I can ease it up. So, everything works proper, guys. We're good to go on this. Appreciate you uh, sticking around. If you have not seen the entire series, go back. Start at episode one of this series and go through, and it will give you the complete build of a lower. Uh, that's the easiest way to do it. That way you... You don't have to try to find bits and pieces if you're doing only one specific job. Hopefully this will help some people out. And I think uh, next what we'll do is we'll do a video on staking this end cap into this uh, castle nut right here. And you got multiple places you can stake from, but we probably will stake it right here, just the way this is positioned. And uh, like I say, that's going to keep that from backing off on you. And I cannot stress enough, guys. Do not, do not put Loctite on there. Even if it's blue Loctite, it's just best practice not to do that. It's easier just to swage that in and do it correctly. That's the correct way of doing it. That's the way we're going to show you on here. Some people don't even do that. They'll tighten it to 40 foot pounds and never have a problem. Hey guys, if you want to do that, it's your gun. You do what you want to do. But if that starts backing out and you have any problems where you get vibration and everything else and it starts stripping out the threads, you're going to wind up having to replace a buffer tube. So rather than do that, guys, let's do this right. I'll show you all the proper way of doing it. And I think that pretty much wraps this up, guys. Guys, if you're subscribed, thank you so much. If you're not, please uh, consider subscribing. It helped that 2A algorithm and help the channel. Certainly appreciate it. Make us uh, where we can put out more content for you. Guys, let me know in the comments below uh, if you want to see anything in particular. Maybe we can have it on this channel. Specialized pretty much in AR-15s, 1022s, 1911s. But I do gunsmithing on other stuff. we got 870 in the pro progress right now. Check out our video coming up soon on the Cerakote on that. Uh, that's not going to be a full build video. Maybe I should have done that, but I already had the gun apart before I decided to go ahead and film that. Um, so y'all let me know in the comments what y'all want to see. Maybe we can do, make that happen and uh, we'll get some reviews out. I'm going to review this entire uh, lower. I've got an upper coming in. We're going to probably use this as a SBR platform, which means that we're going to go through the NFA process 
and I'm going to walk y'all through the uh, paperwork and everything what's required to go ahead and properly file for a uh, short barrel rifle. Also, we'll probably also suppress this because we're going to probably do 300 blackout on this plat this specific uh, platform. So, y'all stay tuned for that. Looking forward to it. Everybody, do appreciate your time today, and I'll catch y'all on the next episode.